my bookworms and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is London. I love to read books, I love to rant about books, and I love to review books. In today's video, we are going to be going book shopping and we are going to also be doing a huge book haul. I just recently had my 20th birthday and I was gifted with this beautiful bookshelf. However, I do not have near enough books to fill it. This is currently the state of the upper shelves. Obviously, there's some work to be done. So that is what we are going to be doing today. We're going to go get some books. We're going to fill the shelves. I have so many gift cards for Barnes & Noble that I need to use, as well as just books that I want to show you guys that I was gifted for my birthday. Now, if you are a subscriber, you would know that I recently just chopped my hair. You might have also noticed besides my new haircut, these beautiful earrings that I'm currently wearing. These are from Annalisa and this portion of the video is actually sponsored by Annalisa. So first off, I want to say that Annalisa is a carbon neutral and water neutral company. This is the piece that I've decided to wear to the bookstore because I just feel like it fits my outfit. It's very classy and elegant. So first up, we have these. These are called the mini Abbey earrings. I feel like these are really versatile and could go with any outfit, honestly. And they're not like screaming, hey, look at my ears, but they're like adding just the perfect touch. And yeah, I love them so much. All right, next are these gorgeous like little hoops. It reminds me honestly of my mom's like china plates. If you wanted to wear them like this and the gold facing the outside, you could do that. Or you can even have the gold facing the inside and have this beautiful pattern facing the outside. This piece is called the Anna Marble Blue. And I love these earrings so much. I feel like they are definitely a statement piece. But you can also wear them with like a really cool outfit. I love the versatility here. All right, here we have these beautiful, like, dainty little flower earrings. I feel like these are what I would wear, like, to a picnic or, like, if I was wearing, like, a really pretty dress. These earrings are called Beauty Within. I love this piece so much. I feel like it's dainty and simple, but it's still, like, so cute, and it definitely gives off picnic vibes so if you're looking for that that's the one and finally i want to show you guys my ring i got from Ana luisa yes so this is the ring it is so unique i love it so much i feel like i need to go get my nails done to flaunt off my new ring i also love that Ana luisa has ring sizes available so if you do know your ring size you're able to put it in i love all of these pieces so so much i just want to say thank you to Ana luisa for sponsoring this portion of the video which i feel like I could wear these on any occasion, whether it be an interview, or a first day at work, or a first day at school. Again, I will have all of these pieces linked down below if you guys want to go check them out yourselves, as well as the prices and my ring size if you want to use it for reference. Make sure to check out Anna Luisa, they have so many amazing pieces. Now that I feel so cute and confident, let's go get some books.
it is the next day and I obviously didn't get enough books to fill up all of my shelves. However, I did run out of money on my gift card. So instead of going to Barnes & Noble and buying books full price, we are going to go take a little stop into Half Price Books. You can kind of see the sign. Um, but yeah, we're going to go find some good books that are cheap. Let's go. Okay, so um, we did some damage. And I have another bag, but I can't really pick that up too. So we have a total of three bags here and a pile of books that I got on Amazon. So let's get into it. First up, I have these books from Half Price Books. This is in the first bag. Um, so I don't know if you guys have heard about this movie. It was a movie um, and I watched it and it was amazing. It's called Me Before You. And so I got the book. I'm very excited to read it. And then there was also Still Me and After You. So I got all of them because why not? Then I got The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest. This was actually 50 cents, so I bought it. I have no idea what it's about, but there's a cute bee. Next, I got The Unhoneymooners. Um, I hear everyone rave about this and I obviously need to read it, so. You will probably be getting a reading vlog very soon. All right, next we have The Little Paris Bookshop. Guys, I just found out I'm going to London, England soon, so stay tuned. I might, like, find this bookshop. I probably will read this whenever I go, but yeah. I'm ordering my passport. Hopefully, I can get it by the time I need it. <laughs> um, next, I got The Glass Sword and Red Queen. This is, like, a series, and I saw both of them there, so I just decided to get them. Okay, next I found this book, and yes, it is a children's book but I am going to college to be a teacher and I kind of need to build my library and I saw this, it was $2. Because of When Dixie is actually also a movie, but the book is amazing and I loved it, so I had to get it. Next, I got Yoke, which I've heard a lot about. I think it was Jack Edwards talk about on his channel and it had a pretty good rating on Goodreads, so I went ahead and picked this one up as well. I'm very excited to read this. All right, and I've been hearing Miss Haley Pham talk about this author so much, so I had to get it. It's called Lock Every Door. It's by Riley Sager. I will be showing another book that I got by him as well because I am very excited to read some of his writing. And then I found these adorable Little Miss books and, you know, it's like a thing on Instagram right now. So I got them. They were like $2, but they're really cute. So, and then from Barnes & Noble, I got another Christina Lauren book. It's called The Honey Don't List. I've seen, I think it was... Sarah Caroli read this and I don't know she said it was good and it looks like so cute so I have to read it all right next I got my policeman Steph Boyer just let a reading vlog out of her reading this and it's going to be turned into a prime movie soon so I had to get it before it released and it's supposed to be taking place in London as well so I might add this to like my book haul when I'm in London I don't know then i got better than the movies this is supposed to be like very rom-com harry met sally i know this is also on kindle unlimited 
So if you want to get your hands on this book, check it out on there too. Then I got 100 Other Girls. This was like their book of the month or something. So I picked it up. It's really cute. It's supposed to be about like some girl who's living in New York. Kind of reminds me of Book Lovers, which I didn't really love, but maybe the writing style will be different. So I went ahead and got it because their cover's really cute. Another bag. Funny you should ask. This is by Alyssa Sussman. Um, I've heard that this is actually really good, but the cover is really what did it for me. I had to pick it up, so. Then I got a T.J. Klune book. This is called Under the Whispering Door. I love the first book, so I got the second, and it was only, it was 25% off. And then I got another Riley Sager book. This is called The House Across the Lake. Um, it's the exclusive edition, so I don't know what that means, but maybe I'll get another chapter. I don't know. Um, but yes, his, like, genre is mystery, and I've kind of been wanting to dip my toes into that more, so very excited about this. All right, and the last book I got from Barnes Noble is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and this is also the exclusive edition. It's red, and I love it, and it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's just beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, I'm so happy that I got this one because that is just stunning. Um, a lot of people say that this book is going to be like a new classic, so I'm really excited to read this, but I've never read anything by V.E. Schwab, so. And then from Amazon, I decided to get Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I loved Daisy Jones and the Six, and I didn't really love Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so maybe this will be a tiebreaker to see if I actually like Taylor Jenkins Reid, so very excited. <laughs> I swear I'm coming down with something. I don't know what's going on, but my voice is like really weird right now and I'm really sorry. Next, I got The Guest List by Lucy Foley. This is also supposed to be like a thriller mystery. Um, so it takes place on a remote island for a destination wedding. I don't know. It's very interesting. I'm intrigued. I want to read it right now, but I have to wait. It's in the middle of another book. And then I got A Court of Thorns and Roses. I've never read anything like this before. But everyone says that if you are into fantasy or wanting to get into fantasy, did you just see that? It's like a leaning tower. Oh my gosh. I have dominoes going on right now. My piles are getting too big. Where was I? Oh yeah. I've never read A Court of Thorns and Roses, but I'm really excited. There's a whole series to this. So if I like this, I'm going to go ahead and get the others as well. But um, yeah. All right. And I also got this one from Barnes & Noble. I forgot to mention though. Um, because I'm currently reading it right now. I'm on page 74, I think. Just started it last night and I love it. It is so good and I cannot wait to finish it. I would highly recommend picking this one up, guys. All right, so my piles are very big, but I'm gonna attempt to show you. This isn't even all of them. Okay, so, oh my. Did some damage today. I am not really proud of how much I probably spent. But, you know, girl's got to do what she's got to do to fill a bookshelf. So, that's what we did. Um, and make sure to check out Anna Luisa if you guys want some cute earrings. I love mine so much, and I've been wearing them every single day. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me spend my money. Um, <laughs> college tuition's due in, like, a month. If you guys want to see more from me, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys in